Okay guys, there, there is some progress made. I took out this. This is what this this was here, and I cleaned it all the all the mess. Now it's clean. I will make it layer and connect it. And now I connected already some some wires here for the idea. You can find um, the schematic, the schematic, on the on the page uh, dreamcastidea.blogspot.com, and uh, also on the Facebook page that I will leave on the description below, and. Uh, Let's make more work. So all the wires are in place and um, I'm going to start to, uh, to connect them to here, to the DDA directly. Solder them wire by wire and uh, this is uh, mm, uh, what is the name? I think it's a uh, mini ID high or VDA or whatever, and um, it's powered. I think it's this last two pins are powered by five volts. So this red wire here, it's connected to five volts as well. I'm going to use it to to power up the the CF card. Let's try out. Here is it guys. All the wires are connected to the IDE CF converter or wherever it's the name, I forgot. And um, the wires are pretty good. I I connected the wires directly to here, but I thought to connect it here. But uh, well, that's your the job. It's already done, so I'm gonna try like that. And um, adapter, yeah, CF to EDA adapter. So it's pretty cool, I think. It's not so. It's not a a bad job. It could be nicer, but okay. So here I connected. Let me try something small. Here is it. So here. I connected the 5 volts to give power to the to the card and then um, as the schematics well it's not uh, as you can see there is the 5 volts logic and 5 volts motor but um, inside is all the the um, the five volts logic and five volts motor, it's connected together, so it doesn't matter. But uh, yeah, I connected that five volts. So I'm gonna connect the um, ECSD card adapter and uh, and try, yeah, and try. You can see I use the schematic of uh, Alexander Silva and um, you can find it on the Facebook page the Facebook page and um, the Facebook page let's make a Sega Dreamcast GD ROM drive emulator you can find it in the description in the description below 
and um, I'm gonna post it as well on the dreamcastiday.blogspot.com so let me try assemble it so here I am now burning the um, dream shell and um, I'm going to assemble everything and try out let's see here we go guys it's assembled already and um, dream shell so let's try out and see if it works I copied already two games here to the CF card I copied the uh, Sonic Adventure and uh, Half-Life so let's try out Okay, let's make the easel loader. One thing that you must do is connect the this in slave mode, not in master. So, as you can see, the SD and the PC is fade out because I don't have it now. I didn't connect it still here the, um, the SD adapter and but I have the CD and the HDD so okay HDD and here he is Sonic Adventure and Half-Life so I don't know it's in CDI I had never tried it so let's try out cool the image is already there. Error. Can't open. Okay, let's try out what's the problem. Yes, guys. Finally. Finally it's working, as you can see I'm running now Sonic Adventure, S yes, it's not very visible in the camera but uh, yeah it's working, but uh, it's working, let me take the sound off, it's working with, um, with this hard drive, not with the, the adapter. I don't know why, sometimes I detected the CF card, sometimes not, and uh, when the CF was detected, I can't start the game. I get an error, the minus three error. After that I spoke with uh, Alexander Vieira, it's an uh, excellent guy, he helped me, he, uh, helped me a lot. And they, he told me to uh, format the the compact flash card. I did it, but um, as well as the same the same as before. Sometimes I detected the card, sometimes not. And um, well, I tried the hard drive, and um, it is in slave mode as well. It's a mini, mini EDA, 
as you can see the CDS top it I'm fully playing with the HDD drive that's excellent it's awesome so guys um, yeah it's uh, it's all so check the 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 site the blogspot uh, dreamcastidea.blogspot.com you can find there the, the schematics to do this and um, yes I connected the mini idea drive but you can, can connect another drive the, the, um, the big one uh, one one like this not like this this is open and it's only for showing but yeah you can, can connect one like this but uh, you will need uh, a, a power to, to here and uh, you always need to to connect it as slave mode don't forget it as well you can connect SATA drives if you have uh, an adapter for it a converter or adapter whatever to convert IDE to, to SATA and uh, yeah it's working that's good that's awesome you can see the the little puppy so once again don't forget to visit dreamcastidea.blogspot.com and um, the facebook page let's make a gd rom emulator on the um, it's a it, the, the people there are awesome so thanks guys i will make some updates and uh, when this is, I will close it, I will paint it, well, as I show it in other video, I'm, go I'm doing some paint job. And um, I'm d I don't know if I will stay with the hard drive, I think so. And uh, make, maybe make a little box here with the, the hard drive, I don't know. Maybe 3D print it. Yeah, maybe 3D, 3D print the, the a little box in the hard drive there. Well, the future will tell it. So thanks guys.